Hi, Mom. Yes, I'm awake. No, I have the day off. Today? Just following the doctor's orders, getting fresh air, running errands around town. Yeah, I took my Corazil first thing when I woke up this morning. Yes, I had hallucinations again, and I don't like it when you call them that. I can't really tell what triggered them this time. Of course, I don't smoke. Mom, God, I had one glass of wine with dinner last night. Calm down. No, I'm not on LSD. Look, Mom, I love these morning interrogations, but the store opens at 10 and I'd love to be there first thing. Love you, Mom. Bye. Bye. Why must I record this stupid, pointless diary? Since my last entry over a month ago, and yes, I remember the past month, because I don't have Alzheimer's, and I'm also not a schizophrenic. I've reconsidered my diagnosis. Is our reality nothing more than a collection of sensory experiences? Could you please mail this first class to my mom? Does it contain anything perishable? No, it's just a birthday card. Is it possible to remember someone else's experiences? To Columbia, South Carolina, it'll be 2.32. Jonathan! <laughs> Jonathan, you have to buy me this dress. I can see myself in it already. Jonathan, please. Well, how much is it? I said two thirty-two. I've already charged it to your card. Oh, sure, ma'am. These are more than visions that I have. They are real. Recently, they've been occurring more frequently. I think what makes these experiences feel more real than what's around me is not just the things that I see, hear, taste, smell. It's how I feel when I'm reliving them. Even in the worst visions, I feel a sort of warmth that I've never really known in my life. And that warmth always leaves me with a sense of longing. I don't care if you think my visions are hallucinations or not. However, I won't call them that. I see them as a part of me. Oi, Sylvia. Just as any memory makes up a part of you. Side note, city parks have a disappointingly small amount of wildflowers. Please, Joseph, no. But, miss... I love these wildflowers you picked for me. You shouldn't keep them, miss. It doesn't matter. I shall keep them as long as I can. Besides, there's something poetic about them now. Don't you think? 
I do not understand, miss. Just think about it, dear. I'm sure it'll come to you. Are you gonna let go? I was actually thinking of buying them. What for? I just have a thing for drying flowers. I don't follow. They're the husks of their former selves. It's just a thing I do. Now that's beautiful. No, I don't, I don't need them. Really? Okay, whatever. Hey, are you new here? I've bought flowers here before and I've never seen you. Yeah, I started last week. This vase was the first I arranged here, but no one seemed to want it. Well, I do. I really like it. Do I know you from somewhere? I don't know, maybe you've seen me around town? Maybe. You seem really familiar. I think I might have met you at a party once. Sylvia, right? No, I don't think we know each other. I'm Amanda. Or Mandy. Jordan. Hey, Mom. Yeah, it's been a long time since I had one of those visions, but can we not talk about that? I want to talk about someone I met. 